The debates and decisions that are shaping our continent now in Europeans. Belgium, it seems, is in the heart of Europe. Well, it is, truly. And Brussels is the heart of Belgium. So we're in the heart of the heart of Europe. Yet, for the past few months, we've been sending out worrying signals. Therefore, I'd like to tell Europe's heart specialists that Belgium is still beating just fine and will go on like that for a long time. Francois Pirette is no ordinary tourist. That's his stage name to begin with. He's one of Belgium's most popular veteran comedians. Well, among the French speakers he is. A sketch he did in 2005 inspired a major rift between the Francophones and the Dutch speakers. His character was a Flemish minister whose tone changes depending on which media he's talking to. Belgium is the living proof that very different communities can live together in complete harmony simply by sharing the same ideals and values. Now you listen to me, we're going to keep Brussels, you keep the king. You're going to need the crown for when we bury Belgium. Because with me in 2008, Belgium's like Capri, fini, it's over, get it? There wasn't any breakup. Two years later, Belgians in their thousands marched united to keep their country together, French speakers, Dutch speakers and German speakers. The intercommunal mood is still tense, the identity crisis still sticking in Francois Pirette's throat. The same as anywhere in the world, in Belgium, it's common to find road signs using red and white. So we let loose with the paint on all the traffic poles until it dawned on some Flemish politician in a bad mood that these are the Walloon colours. Sure, or the colours of Monaco, for that matter. Anyway, he convinced his mates to repaint theirs in their colours, black and yellow. So my country was repainting its traffic poles while the rest of the world moved on. We got stuck at the lights. Thierry van Kaburg, that's the comedian's real name, went on with his work and his stage show was televised. It broke audience records. I went to do the washing the other day. It was high time. Things had got rather grubby. Pirette is a French speaker and makes no bones about what upsets him. His pet target is Flemish separatism and its nationalist supporters. His irritation triggers the humour. For a clearer idea of what bothers him, we went along to his original home turf, Walloon, Belgium, Wallonia. I'd like to show you another Belgium, one that's getting a rough ride at the moment, portrayed as a Belgium that's ground to a halt, as almost in reverse. If I just tell you we're in Bruges here, I'm sure that a lot of people will believe it. But we're in the centre of Belgium which is the part in the most trouble today. This is the mons Bollinage region, where I was born. This used to be one of the country's most prosperous parts. It built its fortune on coal, and then the mines closed. When they used to go looking for coal, because we're in coal country here, the waste material was piled up in heaps. Artificial mountains of the stuff were created. They're a souvenir of the sweat and toil of my grandparents and great-grandparents. The only mountains we have in Belgium, we built. Can you believe it? Handmade. The Aztecs have their pyramids, we have ours, built by hand. <laughs> Brought up here, Pirette wants to help raise the country from the ashes, and everyone around knows it. I'll tell you what disappoints me about the past few months, and that's that the whole of Europe has been talking about the slump Belgium is in. 
because it spilled outside our borders. The Flemish nationalists are selling a Wallonia as only ever being like this. But in the same street, if we just point the camera the other way, obviously this side looks very pleasant. If I want to separate from Wallonia, I'm going to show you this. As you can see, there's a risk of continental shift. Pirette in mad surgeon mode predicts the disastrous consequences of separation, melting of the ice caps, rising sea. <laughs> Belgium, after all, is such a small country that you can't drive longer than two hours without leaving. Sometimes a quarter of an hour will take you into another country. It's tiny. If you don't slow down in time, then you can cross Luxembourg altogether. We're going to Liège. This is one of the most vibrant hearts of Wallonia. Fantastic stuff goes on here. It's not only abandoned steelworks and coal mines. The Liège Forum is one of the biggest, oldest music halls in Belgium. It's the first theatre I ever gave a real performance in. Pirette wonders if culture could help bring opposing communities together. Accepting there will be differences, the humorist suggests there can still be a meeting of minds. There may be one thing the two cultures have in common, and that's seeing the funny side. Since we're a small country with small communities, we are unpretentious. I'm not saying we don't have ambitions, but we're under no illusions. And since we have this poetic, not taking things so seriously, some things are inspired by this, how shall I put it, this humble side, which can't be in big countries. We're small, so we cope with small. And sometimes this is more than cute, it produces real gems. I like this idea that Belgium can do a lot with so little.